For years Subarus were famous for being durable, functional, all-wheel drive vehicles, but they weren't really known for cutting edge and cabin and safety tech. Subarus are still famous for being durable, functional, all-wheel drive vehicles, but now they also have some of the top on cabin and safety tech. Here are four features of the 2017 Subaru Impreza 2.0i Sport 5-door, total sticker price $27,060 that caught attention and deserve yours if you're considering this vehicle. 1. Starlink Infotainment System Subaru has really stepped up its infotainment game and its Starlink system has evolved into being one of the most comprehensive, cost-effective and easy-to-use and dash interfaces available. It offers a wide variety of cloud-based content that leverages the driver's smartphone for connectivity and data. This means that, except for Sirius Travel Link and the Starlink Connected Services telematics system that have a free trial period, a separate subscription isn't required for features such as Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Pandora and AHA Internet Radio. Subaru's own suite of Starlink Cloud apps adds iHeartRadio and Stitcher for streaming content, news and weather info, a music player and calendar. The Starlink Multimedia Plus system in the 2018 Subaru Impreza 2.0i Sport is standard, and its 8-inch touchscreen makes accessing the numerous and somewhat superfluous connected features and others such as audio and phone simple and intuitive. 2. EyeSight Driver Assist Technology Even low-cost cars now have essential driver assist such as forward collision warning with automatic emergency braking and lane departure prevention. But Subaru's EyeSight system was one of the first to offer these features and others in mainstream cars, and it's still one of the only automakers to use a stereo vision camera that provides better optics and hence protection. EyeSight, which is a $2,945 option on 2017 Subaru Impreza 2.0i Sport and also includes a moonroof and a Harman Kardon audio system is still the only such system to offer innovative features such as pre-collision throttle management and lead vehicle start alert. If the former detects an object in front of the vehicle when stopped or traveling at low speed, it will issue an audible and visual warning and also dial back the throttle to give drivers time to react and minimize damage if they don't. The latter tells you when a car ahead at, say, a red light has moved on if you're still sitting daydreaming or checking your phone, and keeps the driver behind you from honking the horn to tell you to pay attention and go. 3. Multi-Function Display Subaru's multi-function display that sits on top of the dashboard since it shows a triptych of useful features and functions and can be customized via a favorite screen so that drivers can get the info they want and need. The favorite screen has a dozen different options, everything from engine oil temperature and rate of fuel consumption to current and weather conditions and the posted speed limit. It will even let you set reminders for birthdays and anniversaries to keep you on the good side of your spouse or significant other. 4. Harman Kardon Audio System Harman provides a wide array of audio systems to automakers from top-notch names like Mark Levinson in Lexus vehicles to relatively junky JBL setups in smart cars, and everything in between. The 8-speaker slash 432-watt Harman Kardon system in the 2017 Subaru Impreza 2.0i Sport sits at the lower end of the spectrum and suffers not only due to lack of detail, volume and bass, but also because the Impreza 2.0i Sport's interior is extremely loud at speed. Too bad it's bundled with the excellent EyeSight system as an option. On the 2018 Impreza a Rockford Fosgate Premium Audio System is offered as a standalone $499 option, however. Over the last month, Tesla has been building its Model 3 display fleet and expanding it across the US for reservation holders to see it in person before ordering, 
but it also has a broader impact. Now, the automaker is bringing the vehicle to Chicago and Washington State, two other important markets for Tesla. Tesla first added Model 3 display cars to two stores in California, the showrooms in the Century City Mall in LA and Stanford Shopping Center in Palo Alto. Those were the first two Model 3 display cars and they attracted large crowds and people had to wait in long lines to see the new vehicle. Last month, the company expanded the Model 3 display car fleet to its New York City showroom in Manhattan's Meatpacking District, its Boylston Street showroom in Boston, its Miami store, and two more stores in California. Later, the Model 3 display fleet expanded to San Diego, Dallas, Washington DC, Newport Beach, Fashion Island Mall, and Scottsdale. Last week, it was Houston and this week it's Chicago and Washington State at the automaker's Chicago Gold Coast and Bellevue stores. Tesla sent out invitations to local Model 3 reservation holders last night to come see the car in person. The automaker previously said that they are bringing the vehicle to new locations based on where the demand, number of reservations, is the highest for the Model 3. A Hartlepool driver has become the first in Europe to take delivery of a new-look Nissan Leaf. Leo Moran, 63, collected the keys to his special edition black Nissan Leaf 20 at Bristol Street Motors Darlington. The retired police officer, who served with Cleveland Police for 30 years, including driving high-performance response cars, converted to electric motoring a year ago when he purchased a 30 kilowatt hours leaf. As soon as the new edition of the Sunderland built all-electric hatchback was announced, he began investigating and ordered the launch edition just before the end of last year. He said, I've driven many cars of all shapes and sizes, and many performance cars, but I can say hand on heart the leaf is the best car I've ever driven. I've spent the last year singing the praises of the Nissan Leaf and now I have the new edition I cannot wait to get out and play, go on adventures and enjoy the drive. The Leaf is the world's most advanced mass-market electric vehicle and uses the Japaner's car giant's intelligent mobility vision, which is defined by how the car is driven, how it is powered and how it integrates into society. Mr. Moran said he was excited to discover all the new features on the Nissan LEAF, not least the e-pedal, which allows the driver to accelerate, slow down and stop using just one pedal. He said, the great thing about the e-pedal is it gives so much back to the driver. Technology is a wonderful thing but it often leads to us as drivers forgetting fundamental skills. With the e-pedal you become more aware of your surroundings and drive in an entirely new way. And with the bigger battery and increased range, I can visit my friends in Scotland and Manchester on one charge. I'm really looking forward to seeing how far I can go. I've also made some investigations into getting the Nissan X storage in solar panels at my home, and I'm hoping I'll be able to do that soon. Terry O'Neill, dealer principal at Bristol Street Motors, said, We are thrilled to be the first dealership in the UK to present the all-new Nissan LEAF, and to a fantastic customer who really is a LEAF champion. Prices for the LEAF, including a £4,500 government grant, start at £21,990, OTR for the entry-grade Vizia model, rising to £29,155 for the top-of-the-range Tecna model. Subaru plans to release an all-wheel-drive plug-in hybrid later this year, and has to enforce this with a link of Japanese automakers and suppliers to make it happen. Subaru has said the PHEV will be a conversion of a current model, but hasn't named the model. The prominent hybrid bits are expected to come from the Toyota Prius Prime. Toyota has a 16.5% stake in Subaru, but Subaru will retain its longitudinally mounted boxer engine. 
Subi will be built in Japan and sent to the US, so theories have coalesced around the cross track or Forester, built at Subaru's Gunma, Japan factory. The cross track was just redesigned for 2018, the 2019 Forester is expected sometime this year. If the model ends up being a cross track PHEV, that would mean hybrid lightning striking that car twice. Subaru introduced a cross strike hybrid in 2013, then removed it from the market in 2017 after slow sales. Assuming a wholesale transplant from the Prius Prime, the Subaru PHEV would get an 8.8 kWh lithium-ion battery that can be recharged at a household outlet in under 6 hours. The Prius Prime is rated at 133 mpg, 54 mpg combined, and runs for 25 miles in EV mode but Subaru's model being all-wheel drive will likely alter those numbers. Subaru will launch its PHEV first in the 10 states that adhere to California Zero Emissions Vehicle Program. The PHEV is part of the Japanese carmaker's multi-year plan to reduce its fleet emissions, first described four years ago. Come 2020, the trademark Boxer engines should come with cylinder deactivation and lean-burning Atkinson cycles, around the same time that Subaru stops turbo diesel sales in Europe and Australia. The brand's first full EVs are due in 2021, expected to be electric versions of conventionally powdered models. To jumpstart its EV research, and make its comparatively small R&D budget stretch further, last year Subaru joined in on the EV common architecture spirit company with Toyota, Mazda, Suzuki, Daihatsu, Dane Sondino.